thanks for joining us for this um, RPE Energy Brief series. Well, we'll be discussing, highlighting some of our recent SEED performers. Uh, SEED is the RPE grant program for small businesses developing high impact energy technologies. I'm Jake Russell, a fellow at RPE, and I'm joined today by Dr. Leia Ellis, co-founder and CEO of Sublime Systems. Sublime is commercializing a new method for decarbonizing cement production. So, Leia, thanks for joining today. Um, why is it important to decarbonize cement production, and why is it so difficult? Cement is responsible for 8% of global CO2 emissions, um, and it's also the most consumed man-made material. Um, so we use billions of tons of cement per year, and each ton of cement produces one ton of CO2. And this is a problem because we're in a pinch situation where we have to reduce our emissions by, by 2050, but also the world's population is growing. And so we have to build more buildings um, and we have to do so in a way that's carbon neutral. So it's becoming more and more important to make, find new ways to make carbon neutral cement. So today cement is, is made in large kilns um, using limestone. So yeah. taking limestone and, and cooking it to very high temperatures, 1500 degrees Celsius, um, and that decomposes the, the limestone into a cementitious um, material. And there's very few ways to do that without really high temperatures. So Sublime is trying to, to find a way to do that process um, using renewable electricity at ambient temperatures to, to cut into those that big CO2 footprint. And could you go a bit into the, the process that Sublime is developing? How are you trying to use this electricity to, to decarbonize that process? Yeah, so at Sublime, we're developing an electrolytic reactor that breaks down limestone and releases the calcium from limestone without needing to go to those very high temperatures. So it's a, an electrolytic reactor that produces acid and base, and we use that pH gradient to drive the decomposition of limestone and separate that limestone from the CO2 without cooking the CO2 off of the limestone. And say compared to traditional cement making processes, is, is this process more energy efficient or, or um, you know, economically competitive? It's it's not necessarily more energy uh, efficient. You you still have the same thermodynamic limitations when it comes to separating the calcium from the CO2 that's bound to it. Um, but you can go break 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 that limestone apart by by a different method. So instead of using um, high temperatures, we're doing it at ambient temperature, and that lets us use intermittent renewable energy, which is increasingly abundant and increasingly cheap. So if you were to use Sublime Systems with today's grid electricity, especially if it's you know coal-fired electricity, it's not going to be more carbon neutral, but we're anticipating um, a low carbon future where there's a lot of, um, a lot of renewables and a lot of um, intermittent low cost renewables that we can use to make cement. Um, uh, and we expect it will be cost competitive with with how you make cement today, even without green premiums, if we get this at scale. Say like 10 years, you know, where do you see Sublime's place in, in the cement production industry? Uh, are you trying to replace all cement production with, with this electrochemical method? The entire reason why we exist is we're trying to have a carbon impact. So um, in 10 years, you know, if we're selling car low carbon cement and displacing cement that has a, a large carbon footprint, the goal is just to maximize that impact. So, you know, I would love to say that in 10 years, Sublime is making all of the cement everywhere, but, um, you know, that's, that's the dream. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that would be fantastic. I think it's such a, such a huge uh, kind of, you know, carbon source in, in the world. Um, so in, in terms of, you know, your, your project with RPE, um, could you talk a bit about um, what RPE funded, like what was the grant that RPE awarded you to do and, and what kind of component uh, of the process that, that, you know, this money has been helping develop? So we're using it to, to fund R&D um, into our system. So helping reduce 
the risk at lab scale before we go out and build a pilot. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been really helpful. Um, the, the RPE program director is really knowledgeable in cement. So our, our meetings have been really enlightening and the connections we've made through the RPE program director have also been um, helpful to us when we're, we're looking to grow our business and, and network outside of the company. Do you have any advice for small businesses kind of maybe in the position you were in a few years ago who, who would be applying for this type of federal funding for the first time? You can't win without a ticket. And um, when I was applying for ARPA E seed, I knew that, you know, it's a very competitive program and, you know, I'd be competing with the best early stage startups all over the country. Um, and so, I went into it with the can't win, you can't win without a ticket mentality, but I also know that, you know, it is a lot of effort to put together an application for a grant, but it, it really helps at an early stage, especially if you're a solo founder or if you're running a lean team to like document, document all of your risks, put together a plan. And so writing that application and putting that all together is something that would have been helpful for us regardless of whether we want or not. So I would encourage um, any early stage founder to apply for SEED. Um, it's a great program. It's, it's lean on the, uh, on the uh, reporting requirements. I understand they've tailored it to make it easier for, for lean startups to put their effort into um, reducing risk. And, and so far it's been a great, great experience and a great program. Right, we encourage you know, any, any small businesses with, with high risk, uh, early stage energy technologies to to apply, um, and Leah, it's fantastic to see the the work that Sublime is doing uh, and the success that you've had in in decarbonizing cement production. So, thank you very much for for joining me today. Thanks, Jake. It's been great talking to you. Mm -hmm.